talking, writing, moving their bodies. So many things to distract me. Maybe I should start with movement and find the words later. Lint on my pants, off my gross, bitten nails. Everything can keep me from writing what I want to write. But nothing paralyzes me like the feeling of my hand dragging across paper. I doubt that I'm thinking anything worth recording. What am I building up to say? Just wasting paper in a rush to finally... So many things that distract me. I can see that nobody is watching me write. But they'll watch me perform this. They have to. But will they be interested in whatever I have to say? At least I can entertain them with some... self-indulgent performance. But I still haven't really said anything yet. Let's start again. There are people here who seem to like me. I don't want to push anybody away. Maybe I don't need any of them anyway. I'm not too sure I have the time for this program. So much time spent lying on the floor. But I should be training right now. I don't have time for this. I know that all of this would be useful in my life. But I'm not so sure that this is the most efficient use of my time. I forget all the moves and think about it. I become bored with frustration. Everyone is so friendly that my paranoid cynicism pollutes the smiles that I reciprocate. <laughs> I don't it feels like summer camp or kindergarten. I'm a fraud, disguised as a eunuch, frolicking with the nymphs. No, I'm not a fraud. <laughs> Girls in my class explore each other's bodies for course credit. <laughs> but it's not really creepy somehow. It feels natural, even necessary for my art. To be able to connect with other human beings. It's easy. Okay, so if I'm going to write something to perform for this class, it needs to be moving. Shocking, gripping, touching moving. Not just from fucking class assignment. It needs to be a masterpiece. I feel the paralyzing doubt in myself. Even my <laughs> doubt feels mediocre. Not the epic seed of creation. Maybe all that I want right now is that transcendent moment. To look into the eyes of a human being at random. To feel that they are no longer hiding anything at all. Because they're more concerned with seeing inside of me. I have work to do. Meaningful work. Work isn't always meaningful, and I have faith that I can tell the difference between the trading of time and effort for pieces of a goal I might hope for, and the moments where I'm fighting to manifest an idea. This morning, as I slept a second sleep, I dreamed that we were all in the hallway, and that class was starting. In the hallway was a table, overflowing with food for everyone, and somehow I knew that now this food would always be there. I wasn't hungry, but because class was about to start, I wanted to take food anyway. I stood outside the door to class, eating, because I didn't want to make a mess in the studio. But I could see other people. I think I saw John eating a plate full of food. And my food wouldn't make a mess anyway, because all that I had taken were three round, flat, thin snacks that I knew would taste like fruit roll-ups. I was certain it would somehow be healthy for me. Janelle was circling the class, taking attendance as people talked, and it seemed that it was taking forever for class to get started. We take as long as we need it to. Someone, I think it was Amelia, wanted a piece of one of my snacks. She said something. I told her that I would give her a half, but what I found myself tearing was actually one of my shirts. And I could see Maxine nestling her head into Brittany's shoulder so gently. And then she gnawed her teeth into Brittany's neck. <laughs> but her teeth left no mark at all. And I cried out, Yeah, draw blood. And we all laughed because it was all a joke. It was all one big 
joke. The night before at the Daniel Johnston concert. I'm pretty much done with a lot of things, of course. Uh, bug me about that structured improv. One thing that bugs me is, uh, yeah, I guess I probably took attention off it anyways, but the way I kind of say joke with, with anger in the recording, I'm not completely sure why I feel it. Uh, I don't know, I wanted to show that there were more levels to certain things that I was feeling to, uh, to the, to whether or not something is to what a dream is and, I don't know. <laughs> I'll just tie it up with, uh, with the last few seconds that I just, uh, just kind of silenced out. Uh, the day before I had that dream, which was last Saturday, uh, the night before I saw this concert of a singer named Daniel Johnston, and he told this real quick story in between one of his songs, he said that uh, he had a dream, and that in his dream, he was, he saw, he was in a courtroom, there was a trial for a man being sentenced to death for attempting to commit suicide, <laughs> and, uh, and he was that man, and he could see himself uh, from the back of the courtroom watching the proceedings, and uh, in the back of the courtroom, he was terrified, yelling, no, no, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much the last thing I have, except for uh, a couple lines that I wanted to end with also, that are also in the recording that I just silenced. Uh, basically wanted to say that, uh, that I wanted to say something profound and feel that I haven't really. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, I wanted, always want to uh, perform creating some kind of masterpiece, and I don't feel that this is quite a masterpiece. <laughs> this is just a piece of my creative process. Mm. Thank you. <laughs>